Hey guys, Skip here. Just wanted to let you know what I've actually been doing today. Not playing with RCs, but fixing the family mobile. I gotta put a water pump on my Subaru. It's way down here. Runs off the timing belt. And if you know anything about these timing belt jobs, they're never that fun. But nevertheless, get it done, get it put back together. Get this thing cooling efficiently again. I had to pull the timing belt off. So I was just checking it out. There's the center mark off the crankshaft. And here's the timing mark on this side. It's supposed to be straight up. Lines up with that crack on the back of the head. And then here's this side. Totally, totally off. Ugh. I hate car lot mechanics. This is why I work on my own stuff. This is a car lot car that had a blown head before we got it or something. They had just fixed it. And here's what the mechanic did to us. This car's been run like junk because it's off a tooth on the timing belt. So I just got the water pump off finally. There's the hole. And here's a massive pile of parts. Everything you have to take off just to get the water pump in this thing. Just to get at the water pump. Here's the water pump right here. This is the back side of it. It's the front. And there's the new one. I'm gonna slap that thing on there and reset the timing. Set the set the hydraulic tensioner up. You gotta put a pin through it, so it'll be correct and let it back out when you want it to. Put the harmonic balancer pulley back on. Put the cover on it. The belts. The battery. The radiator. And then the grill. <laughs> All for a water pump. Okay, phase 12. <laughs> water, pump, water pump installed. Alright, just got the timing belt back on it. As you can see now, that marks straight up. That marks straight up. And that marks straight up. Now we're actually in time. Should make it run a lot better. <laughs> I'm going to keep going on this thing, guys. Alright, so we got it all back together. And I realized that I had put some stuff in it to stop the water pump from leaking when it was going out. And it actually had clogged up the radiator. So I just got the radiator back from the radiator shop. It's all cleaned out and fresh and brand new. I'm about to bolt the fans back on it. We're back in here and we'll have a brand new cooling system on the Subaru. Success! It's back up and running. The new uh, cam adjustment worked really good, or is working good, it sounds good, and the radiator's flowing. All the air bubbles are working its way out, and you can definitely see that water's moving. Before, there was no water moving anywhere. So, finally fixed our problem, found something that we didn't know uh, was wrong with it, and fixed that. And, um... And learn something in the process. So all, all in all, pretty good day. There's that water flowing. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. This is Skip. You watch High Volts RC.